Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at the three-year anniversary LRs. We got them both rainbow, max links with their easy A's. So we're going to hop into the legendary Vegeta event. Nothing too hard. I, I've been trying the God event and the Red Zone to showcase these guys, but it's just not working out, you know. Um, especially with the two supports we're running, and just, we just get blown out of the water. Um, but yeah, there's a survey here as well. You guys can do that real quick, get a free seven stones. Not to mention the easy A that's here as well that has 999 levels, you know. Stones, Kai's, orbs, you name it. Lots of lots of rewards all the way up to 999. It's definitely a grind, but I'm at 336 right now. Clear like a couple stages a day, you know. 10, 20, 30, and you'll get there. Um, He's at 674 already. My buddy's at 486 there. But all right, let's hop in and see what these uh, three-year anniversary LRs are made of. They're definitely good picks for the red zone. Um, you sometimes see me running these guys in there. Can rely upon their fusions sometimes and all that jazz. All right. So let's hop let's in and this. see how they do. So it looks like we got them on turn two. We'll float off AGL Go Tanks here. The only thing is AGL Go Tanks leads a time limit. So that means he won't be supporting in Vegito at all. Just Fizz Gogeta. Because, you know, Dragon Ball, Z, Vegito, they thought they were, that they were going to stay fused forever, you know, so they're not on time limit. Can you imagine if they did just stay fused forever? Like, what? <laughs> just be Vegito forever. Alright, so here they both are, no support. Uh, the gods, the LR Super Saiyan gods actually link link well with these guys. Um, they do share, like, see the Super Saiyan 4s just have Kamehameha, Legendary Power, Super Saiyan, and Fierce Battle. But the gods have prepared for battle instead of Shocking Speed like these guys have, so... They actually share, the gods share 5 out of 7 with both of these guys here. But Gogeta there has Golden Warrior. Vegito has Saiyan Lineage, which Saiyan Lineage is a bit better. Um, yeah, the three years share six out of seven links together, so they're really good linking partners, pretty much perfect. Um, but yeah, Gogeta has Golden Warrior, which isn't, isn't the greatest, it's just really a key link. Also lowers their defense by 10%, enemy's defense by 10%, but that doesn't really matter. Um, Saint Lineage at level 10 actually gives key 2 and attack and defense 5%, so it's definitely a lot better of a link. But yeah, they're going to be looking pretty good here, especially with their easy A's now, finally, you know. I mean, they were still pretty good to run, just as is before their easy A's, you know. I'm going to try not to go too crazy here, so we can just... Um, slowly make our way through the fight so that we can at least get the fusions off. But I believe they both, if we fall below 50% come turn 6, they both should fuse if they're on the same rotation. But obviously if you have them on separate rotations, you know, one's gonna fuse and then you'll have to get below 50% again for the other one to fuse. Alright, so he, here we have some support for Gogeta. He's now above Vegito in defense. I think when they're before they both fuse, Gogeta's gonna be hitting a little harder, I believe. And Vegito is gonna be a little more defensive, because he got he's got 15,900. He's at 14,400 there. They do get more key with rainbow key spheres. We'll take a look at both of them here at the end of the video though, as well as the team. 8.66 from Gogeta right there. With the 40% support from Gotenks, 6.24 from Vegito. 
They're both well over 200k after they super attack there. They just took out Vegeta no problem right there. Alright, so here we have a whole, whole physical rotation here. So yeah, let's not go too crazy here. Well, I guess I can't really not with the, the LR Super Saiyan 4s and the way they get key. 7 year LRs usually don't have too much trouble uh, super attacking. There's a nice 300k there, so... It looks like we're below the threshold. We might be able to fuse into them next turn here. They're good in there before they fuse too, you know, they got that 30% chance to dodge. Sometimes they're bobbing and weaving, other times not so much. Like when I take them in the red zone, then they're just not dodging for me and I get killed, you know. But alright, here's the fusions. Looks like Gogeta's up first. Yep, just as I thought. You, you have them both on rotation, you t hit turn 6, below 50%. There they are, man. We got Vegito on on rotation for support as well. Should be given 30% attack and defense to them. Plus we got Gohan and Icarus here. That's gonna give us a little bit extra attack and defense too, I believe. Something, I think it's like 10% or something for two turns. Um, but all right, yeah, this is 288K now, 318. Let's stick Vegito out front, give him all these, so we can see some counter crits from this man. We got them both their 24 key. Oh boy. Yeah, they're really, uh, really turned into some powerhouses uh, after they fuse. Vegito is a bit better, especially with his counter crits, 8.14 right there. We might not even be able to see Gogeta attack on this rotation. I guess I could have stuck him out first. But yeah, Vegito's gonna finish him off with these counter crits, man. I have 22 crit on him, I believe. When I guess he didn't crit, but I mean, he really didn't need to. It's still really good damage. But when you counter crit, man, that's super good damage for them. Yeah, they're looking good. Um, next rotation, maybe we'll put Gogeta out front. So we can see him super attack first, and then Vegito attack and get his counters. Um, Vegito is going to be a little better than Gogeta. Just based on the fact that he has counters. His counters can crit as well, depending on how much crit you have on them in their hidden potential, you know. Um... But I think Gogeta has damage reduction. But it's only for like a couple turns. And he's super effective against all types. Alright, so here they are, no support. Let's stick uh, Gogeta out here in front. Give him those two rainbow key spheres there. Vegito will get all those int ones. He's at 238, 262 there. Yeah, he has a high chance of performing critical hit, and medium chance of evading enemies' attack. I thought he had damage reduction. Performs a crit. Oh, he performs a crit and has a high chance of evading enemies' attack for three turns. Vegito here. Oh no, Vegito has the damage reduction 30% for three turns, and then 15% from turn four. Dude, that's that's a bit better than dodge. Yeah, they really they really kind of made Vegito a bit better than Gogeta, but Gogeta is still good. Um, I mean, at least he has dodge, so that's something going for him. There he is, dodging. 7 million right there. I believe I went 18-18 on him. He has 18 combo, 18 crit. 
There's a crit. Holy man, that's some good damage. Yeah, he's, he's dodging. 6.7 from Vegito right here. Not to mention all the counters he could have had after that attack. Yeah, they, they probably could have gave Gogeta, like, some additional supers or something like that. Maybe both of them. I mean, they are good. For sure. But they totally could have gave him a little more. Yeah, we'll get Tech Vegito back over there on that rotation. Seals, too, with some support. I think AGL Go Tanks will be on rotation. Uh, this one coming up with them, he'll be supporting just Gogeta. Yeah, I feel like I'd rather have damage reduction than dodge any day. But I guess it depends how much it is, you know. I wonder, I wonder how Tech Vegito here is looking defensively. Well, we're about to find out. Oh boy, he did get the double super. I don't know if he raises defense on super or not. 248. It's not too bad. He does not. Well, he raises allies attack and defense for 30% for one turn, so that would count for him as well. Tech Vegeta with his easy A. Holy man. Well, Vegeta seems to be attacking a lot there. So we're gonna stick in Vegito out there, even though he does have type disadvantage. No support for Vegito, but Gogeta does have the 40% attack and defense and key three from Go Tanks, supporting time limit. Um, but we're just gonna stick Vegito out there to see how many counter crits he can get. Oh, Vegeta's gonna dodge that one. Ooh, no crit there. Time to get His counters serious. are definitely gonna hit a lot harder as well um, after he super attacks. You know, get the extra attack and defense on from on the super. So here's the Dokkan mode, final command, man, and it crit, oh my goodness, any additional 4 mil, 4.2, he's out of here. Later, Vegeta, we didn't even get to see Gogeta attack. You know, we got this, might as well pop that. Oh yeah, I... <laughs> I have their intros and active skills shut off because I've been doing the easy A with these guys and the gods, so. Um, I mean, if we if we pop these guys' active skills, like, Vegeta, Vegeta's dead, you know. So I think we're just going to keep doing what we've been doing and just, like, kind of <laughs> missing super attacks on purpose here so we can see, um... You know, Gogeta and Vegito here. But honestly, they're taking a bit of damage. Probably should have taken the least. This is gonna hurt. Yep. I figured it was gonna hurt. I mean, alright. We still got a good look at him. Not too bad. We could have gotten one more rotation out of him, probably. Um, yeah, we, we weren't stacking up the Super Saiyan 4s at all there, and this guy took a hefty 500k from Blue Evolution there in the last fight, but hey, that was still a pretty good uh, look at these two. You know, they're very powerful, easy A's. Um, you can definitely take them in the red zone and get away with them, fusing with them and stuff, you know, recovering that HP, and I don't think either of them have a scouter, but... Yeah, this is the team we took him on. We got 
Super Saiyan 4 is 55%. This guy's 79. Tech Vegito, of course, he's rainbow. And then AGL Gotenks is 90. You want 14, 16, 3 on this guy. Alright, but let's start off with Gogeta. So now he leads 180 to fusion. I believe it was, what, 170? Defense 130, huh? Yeah, but now the Fusion and Batara, they got the key 3 and 180% to stats, so that's pretty good. Uh, their 12th and 18 key, they both uh, raise attack and defense for one turn. So they start out with attack and defense 180%, start a turn. Medium chance of performing a critical hit, medium chance of evading enemies' attack plus an additional key 2 per rainbow key sphere obtained. And then obviously you get to turn 6, 50% HP or less, and you're fusing into Super Gogeta. And once you fuse here, he does fully recover HP just like Vegito. Still raises attack and defense for one turn on his 12th key, but on his 18 key he greatly raises defense for one turn, and then greatly lowers attack and defense. So he fully recovers HP, and now he's up to 200% attack and defense start turn. He's effective against all types. He performs a crit and has a high chance of evading for three turns. So guaranteed crits for three turns and a high chance to dodge. And then after that, he has a high chance of performing a crit and a medium chance of evading enemy's attack starting from the fourth turn. And then he gets key three per rainbow key sphere obtained. So pretty good there. I think Vegito might be a little better though. Um, so like I said, Patara, Key 3, 180, both raising attack and defense for one turn on their 12 and 18 key. Also 180% attack and defense, medium chance to crit, medium chance to dodge. They're pretty much the same before they fuse, plus an additional key 2 per rainbow key sphere obtained. And then Fusion went below 50%, turn 6. So he also greatly raises defense for one turn, but then instead of lowering, greatly lowering their attack and defense, he also raises allies attack by 30% for one turn. So if you run him in slot 1 and Gogeta in slot 2, he's going to give Gogeta even more of an attack buff there with that 30, extra 30%. 12 key, he raises attack and defense for one turn. And just like Gogeta, he's up to 200%. Then, except he, instead of super effective, he counters normal attacks with tremendous power, so you definitely want to build a lot of crit on this guy. I mean, the additional is good for the extra defense raise, but he doesn't have any built-in crit when he fuses, it looks like. He just reduces damage received by 30% for 3 turns, and then 15% starting from the 4th turn. So pretty good there, that damage reduction is really good. And then just like Gogeta, he gets that key 3 per rainbow key sphere. But alright, that was the 3 year anniversary fusions with their easy A. Rainbowed max links, man, they're, they're pretty solid units, I must say. You know, you can definitely run them in red zone, like I said, and they can get the job done for you as long as you're careful. Um, but alright guys, that was a good look at these guys, even though we did croak there at the end, the blue evolution just final flashed us into oblivion but that's all right we still got a pretty good look at these two um but all right let me know what you guys think of the three-year anniversary lrs with their easy a and what you'd like to see next um but as always i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one